All right, guys, Josh Techie, we're back again with another tech video. So we're do actually doing an update review. Yes, I only got the keyboard for a few days, but I wanted to do a little update review on the keyboard. What do I think about the new glorious gaming keyboard? So, hey, you guys ready? Let's do this. All right, so pretty much I got this keyboard a few days ago. So if you guys are new, I did have the Razer, the Black Widow Elite keyboard. Before I get more into the thing, I switched over to the Glorious because I got the Glorious Gaming Model O and the Glorious Bungie. And I actually wanted to try out this keyboard. I've seen tons of videos on it about this and also the duckies and other keyboards where you could customize your own keyboard. Now, I kind of knew about it, but I didn't know too much about it. So it's like customizing keycaps, cords, all of this stuff you could do with your keyboard and getting more compact. Now, the reason I went more compact, I didn't go completely Compact, I went to the 10 key list. Um, it's because I still edit using the delete key and the arrows. So I like this new keyboard that I went to. Now real quick, I've been using this keyboard for a few days and I am loving this keyboard. Now, this is a pre-built one. If you guys want to get this product, I'll put down the description below where you guys could check it out. The website, the glorious website. You can get switches, keycaps, wrist pads, mouse pads, everything there switches keycaps so you could get a lot of stuff there you could customize your own keyboard so i kind of like that now going to tank keyless is a is really different me going to a full keyboard i still try to use the num key and there's no num key there so it's something i gotta get used to even typing i feel more scrunched in a little bit so now for gaming and everything and playing um i played apex and fortnite on this and everything I love it. Move the keyboard a little bit over to the left and I still got more room on the right side where I use my mouse and stuff. So it gives me more space and more movement around, especially when I'm playing those FPS hardcore games. So I'm liking that. Now basically it's called the GMMK TKL. So TKL stands for 10 keyless, of course. And this is more compact than you have in the num key. You could go fully compact and not have the arrow key and the deleted key and the keys on the side and you actually go even like 60 65 percent more compact these are gator on brown switches so if you guys want to use them or if you don't want to use them you could buy other switches cherry mx reds blues whatever you want to do you could put them in there you could keep the browns and have half half you could do whatever you want to do with this keyboard and which ones you like now i do like the browns and i've been using it for a couple days and they're really quiet because the ones I had on my Razer were uh, the green tactile, so they were pretty loud and clicky. So these are a lot more silent, but not deadly. So these are great. It is a backlight RGB 87 key layout, so, and also it does have 16 million colors of RGB, so I think that's plenty. Plenty of cycles and software, and actually it comes with software, but you actually don't need the software. We'll get more into that. You don't need the software, you actually, use it straight from the keyboard and change the colors and everything on it and stuff by hitting the function key and where it says RGB on the keyboard. Now this does have a black aluminum body and it is really, really good quality. Now I'm gonna tell you this, now some keyboards get kind of really flimsy and stuff. This feels like good quality keyboards. So I'm actually, Glorious did really good on this keyboard. Now this. Now this does have macro and hotkeys, so if you wanna go in the software and change the macros and hotkeys, and you could go into the software and actually do that. It's pretty simple to download the software. All you do is look on the back of the keyboard, look in the four digits. Basically, mine was 2019. You go in there, there's like options to download the software. I'll put down the description below with the software too. Just click on it, download it. That's it, it's very simple. If you know how to use the Gloria's gaming model with the, uh, with the software, it's that easy. Now, the thing is, there's two softwares. There's one for keyboard and there's one for for uh, mouse. Now, I don't understand that. I wish they would just put it all together and then you could just kind of like, so. I feel like the software is a little kind of buggy and stuff, but yeah, we'll get more into that a little, little bit, so. 
Now the keycaps are ABS double shot keycaps. These are not PBT keycaps. And I kind of wish they were, but it doesn't matter because if you're customizing your keyboard, you're going to take the keycaps out and stuff. But they should at least made it BBT keycaps instead of ABS. ABS is not really good keycaps because actually they get worn out after a while. And actually the oils on your hand will actually show up on the keyboard. If you have any other keyboard that does that, that's why it does that because it's ABS. So the BBT keycaps are really more durable for high gaming and stuff and they last a lot longer. So in the box, it does come with um, instructions and a few things. So first of all, we're gonna get to the wire. It actually comes with a uh, wire and it's really super thin. It's not super thick like the razor I had an issue with. It was just so thick and so tough to turn, but this is a nice thin wire. It is USB 2.0 and the, to the to plug in the PC and the back of the um, keyboard, it is micro. Yes, it is micro, it's not C. I wish it was C too, but it's not. So maybe eventually they'll change that later. But it does come with that extra adapter. So if you want the wire to actually go sideways instead of actually going up and down like the way it is, so that's pretty cool. So it does come with the keycap puller and it's on the back of the keyboard. Now it does come with a uh, puller for the switches and it's pretty simple to pull it out. You just pull it out straight up and boom, you could switch it out and replace any switches you want. Now the cord is six feet braided, so it's pretty good size. Um, I am buying some custom cables and some keycaps. Um, I will do a separate video on that. So this keyboard is going to be look completely different pretty soon. Now the software and the, and the keyboard, it does work with uh, Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, and 10 if you guys have those still. But pretty much people have Windows 10, so this software uh, will be good for that. So you'll be good to go. So pretty much it comes in with this nice little white box. And I actually, I like the box. Um, I am going to keep it and stuff just in case um, I need to, you know, Put it back in the box for some reason now real quick it does come with this plastic cover with it and if you guys want to use it when you're not at your pc and stuff just put it over here and put it on top it'll keep the dust out and everything so if you're not at your computer for a few days or for a day or two that will keep the dust out so so like i said it comes with a keep cap puller switch and for the keys and it comes with manuals to tell you how to do it and it comes with stickers and stuff just basic stuff that you would get when you buy a product pretty much so i also like it that it has a, a send key on it um it's a little red key if you guys don't like it you can switch it out and put an escape key on it and it has the glorious guy on the windows key or you can use the regular windows key cap but I like the guy with the beard that's the little logo. I think that's pretty cool. Now I did order a wrist pad for my wrist um, for this keyboard and it's on its way. So I'll do another video on that and stuff. It's a padded black one. So in the description, when you guys go to the website, you guys will see all their products, their mouses, bungees, everything. So for $109 and that's where we're going to get $109 for this keyboard is really good. I think that's a good deal just to get you started. And yeah, if you got custom keycaps, cables, and all that stuff, you're going to be spending more. But I know some of these keyboards can go up to two to $300 just starting out. So for a good quality, glorious gaming keyboard, if you want a pre-built one, you could actually go in there, even customize your switches if you don't want brown switches. But if you just want to buy the keyboard straight from the company, they will send you this with the brown switches and stuff. Other than that, this keyboard's great, and also you can up the feet. You can lower the feet down in the back. It's only got two settings. So honestly, I do like the way the keyboard looks. It has that big gap between the keyboard and the, and the switch. I like it that I had spaced out. Now, the RGBs on this don't look bright at all. I mean, you could kind of tell it looks good, but like from... From the bottom, if you're kind of looking at an angle, because the keycaps um, are kind of snudged together, so the light's not reflecting through it completely like some keyboards. But once you switch out the keycaps and you get the ducky or whatever keycaps you want to get, I'm going to get the matrix keycaps. I'll put down the description below where I got my keycaps. They're going to look amazing. Or you get the PBT double shot keycaps. Now, I do have the HyperX keycaps, and I could put those on here, and they will fit. So they're just as good as any other keycap same thing so yeah so you can get more light through this keyboard it's just with these switches it's not super blurring in your face so if you like that way then that's the way to go if you want more brightness 
I would recommend to change out the keycaps and stuff. On this keyboard, you can change the volume and add the calculator and all the stuff on top of the F1 to F11. Just hit F in for function key. Hold down and hit any one you want. So if you want the volume to go down, you just hit the function key F in and hit volume up and down and mute and it'll turn mute and stuff. So if you want to add the calculator, just hit function P, hit function key, the F in, hit calculator and it'll pop right up. Now, if you don't know how to change the RGB, it's simple. You just hit the F in key and it'll say RGB and it'll have a little arrow and you can go through all the cycles but I will go through the software and show you what it is all about and stuff so yeah so let's get into it all right so we're actually gonna do it like this way so you could see the keyboard and see the um, actual screen so this is basically the software you're gonna use so it's pretty simple what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the glorious go to more you're gonna to go to downloads. You're gonna to go to GMMK download page, and then you're gonna go in the back of your key, your the back of your keyboard like this, and you're gonna select the numbers and then just download one of these. That's it. That's all you do. And then when you get the software, it's gonna open up like this. Now I have a few issues with the software. It is kind of buggy to me. I feel like it's come sometimes it doesn't want to like respond super fast but um pretty much this is the wave now it looks like on this it's moving super fast because there's a speed right here and a brightness so you can turn the brightness down you can turn it all the way up and this is the highest brightness so if you guys are curious about that you could go to certain waves and it'll change the waves spiraling wave and they have acid mode they have breathing normal on so you guys can use pretty much anything you want and some of them won't have the speed so or you can do ripple graph so this this one's pretty cool boom and then they have pass out with trace and fast run without trace so you could also change the speed like i said but see sometimes i click on it and it and see it kind of it kind of hesitates so you can make it faster, slower, you could disable it. Now the USB report rate is which one you want. I really actually don't know 100% about this. I haven't gone depth into this, but if you guys know about it, hit me in the comments. You could change your macros, you could add other profiles. You hit apply and okay. And it's in the desktop, just open it back up. So there's not a lot to learn about this program. Uh, it's pretty simple and short. It's just, it's not really, complicated so so if you want to change the colors you can customize your colors and do more so you can also change the direction of way it's going so you could actually go that way or that way so that's pretty cool let's hit apply okay but anyways guys thanks guys for watching josh tech i appreciate it if you guys want to check out any more of uh, my videos will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, when I do get the custom stuff with the with the keyboard, I will do actually update video on that and stuff. So I'll be doing more videos of this keyboard and upgrading stuff. You could also customize your keycaps, and I've seen some crazy stuff out there. So um, guys, yeah, appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to join my Discord, put Discord. I'll send you the invite, and you guys could join. So yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching Josh Tech Gamer, and I'll check you guys later.